I jumped out of all here, and today we're gonna start the Kingdom of Jerusalem campaign again, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what I did, but I lost the save file. It's just, it's gone. Anyway, it was a good practice run, if nothing else. I actually recorded a second episode, but there's no, there's no point in sending, uh, releasing that, because even though it went really well, like I conquered all the way down to here and to Cairo, um, like, what's, what's the point? Alright, so... Back to 1st of January. What? Okay. So, 11.25 start. Let's jump in there. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So... I'll try my best to sort of recreate the steps, however, a little bit of hindsight could come in handy. So, we definitely want to get our hold on the on Damascus immediately. So what I want to do, first, first thing, build um, the trade post here. And declare war on him for Damascus before the Jihad is called on me, which will pretty much happen immedi immediately anyway. Okay, let's get them together before we do anything. And there's these things here which I really don't need to focus on too much. Especially with these daughters, it just doesn't seem that important. If it was my son and heir, then sure, but honestly, not fussed with them. Unmarried heir, won't worry about that. Uh, we want to set the crown focus here. And I'm not going to extort subjects this time. No, because we're going to be in war. That's, that's something to do during a peacetime. Jihad for Jerusalem. Yeah. Same thing happens again. The only difference this time is that we're in an aggressive war as well. So France coming in to help. Same thing as last time, except they're coming in a bit earlier. We need to knock out this motherfucker out of the, out of the war first. We'll knock this war out first. Before the Jihad starts to get too heavy. Okay, we can speed things up a bit. Yep, I'm ready to prepare for war. Happy to participate, as long as these this Jihad and this Holy War is over first. Man, everyone's just going fucking crazy over, over here at the moment. Including me. It's like wartime, bitches. Peace is for the weak. It's kind of weird having, like, lyric music in a game like this. But I purchased the, um, the soundtrack. That, I don't know which soundtrack it's from. That, that came alongside with this DLC. And so far, I didn't get copyright striked. No, you don't get striked, you get copyright claimed. So, I, I guess it's all good. It's not bad. I imagine after hearing it 50 times in a campaign, you probably get sick of it. Alright. Wow, but that's, that's a good start. Already at 45%. And we've already got enough to raise them. So you get over here, get to Damascus. I don't need these ships. There's no sense in having them paid for. Okay, there's only 600 men here at Damascus, so we sh even though it says Fort Level 5, we should be able to easily punch it over. Yeah, no worries. This one here is a lot tougher. There's the Jihad forces. Right, do you know what I think? I think the... The Hospitaller should come over here, resume the siege, and I'll send a larger army to go and take out the Abbasid Emirate. Oh, is that? That's the Abbasids. Right. See, I'm used to playing at the, the early start, which is the Abbasids are like the superpower. How the mighty have fallen. 
Probably a good idea we whack him on before he gets together with the rest of his allies. Yeah, see, there's going to be a few of them. And we need to end this before the Seljuks get involved. Well, if the Seljuks get involved, maybe the Byzantines will give us a hand. I don't know. Because I imagine they're not particularly fond of the Seljuks. Good start so far. I tell you what, though. With the new locked uh, movement, it's going to make wars a lot easier. Because it used to be quite hard to get them. Um, and now with that, the AI is not going to be really thinking too much about, oh, is he going to catch me or not? And once they're halfway towards them, you just, you just catch them so easily. And in my opinion, the randomization in this is far less severe than in um, uh, EU4, which is quite severe, I think. It's like fucking random sometimes. At least at the beginning of the campaign. Later on in the campaign, it's not so bad. But at the beginning, it's where it's kind of important. Speed it up a little bit. I think this is part of this here. Good, we're already at eighty percent. Basically just play whack-a-ball with these Muslim armies out here. Alright, we don't want her to become ambitious. Good, I like prisoners. Sell them off. Not a whole lot of money to be gained, but it all adds up. Bastard or two never hurt anyone. Ah, uh, that's not true. Okay, they're heading down here, so wait until they're locked. And then they can't escape. See, like I said, it's actually made the game a lot easier. Because otherwise he would have escaped, he would have just not done it. And that's not to say that they shouldn't have done this. It's definitely, it's more... It's more punishing to make a mistake. So we won there. How many people have we murdered already? Because I know he's amazing in combat. Two. Well, rack him up. Sure. Now, so from my experience in the previous campaign, I learned that diplomacy is kind of hard to do now. Like, it's just hard to get allies due to political concerns, whatever the fuck that means. Alright, you should be able to beat that relatively easily. Alright, good. So this is done. Good. So I'll keep Damascus for myself. Ah, uh, also, we need to centralize. If you could get on with that council. Uh, we'll set this guy up over here. Just grant him the title of here. Get all of it. And I'll give him as whatever it's called. And I'll keep everything else, I think. No, I won't. I'll give him this one as well. So 
that's I'm on. I have that. That puts me at six. What else do I own? Uh, we've got a barony over here. Okay, um, just... Yeah, whatever. I mean, we'll be able to hold on to it in a moment, because I'm sure that... It'll be fine. Alright, now we can focus on the jihad. But... There's also this little piddly little shit here. What we could do is disband the troops, declare war on this guy here. And take that. Okay, hang on. I think we need to defeat this army here first. Mm, I can't afford that right now. We need the money for other things. No, no, no. I didn't want to retreat. Were they called into that? No. The f oh, you bastards! Okay, so do you know what they did? They took the the uh, Knights Hospitaller and uh, Templar away from me. Shit, that's gonna make this harder now. Because you know the the Crusaders have come over there and I'm, they're out of my control now. Ah, oh, you dickwads. I would have fucking won that battle if it wasn't for that. Probably straight away, yeah, turning the war around. Great, thanks, fucking Crusade. Jeez, bad, really, really bad timing right there. Okay, actually, if I could get him to come over here and help me, that'll sort of make up for, for the loss of it. them out. I'll slow that down, I need to concentrate. Alright, we're back up to 16,000 men. It, su it sucks that I don't get the uh, those other troops. Also, we need to get a trade post over here as soon as possible. Have the trade post here come along. Yep, get that down there, it's all money. Good, thank you for us. Yeah, I'm actually stronger than I was before because of that. So, you, you take the good with the bad bad with the good. One army goes down, another one comes up. We gotta get down here before before these guys here unite. Take out Acre first. So yeah, gaining a little bit of uh, ticking war score thanks to them not being able to control anything just yet. I'm gonna speed that up a little bit. I suppose so. We should be able to beat him. So we walk away victorious. We win the duel. Gains duel victory. Your battlefield experience increases. What, what is it at the moment? So it's at 44. And then it goes up to... It didn't increase anything. Alright, sure. Now, of course, last time we managed to get him a male heir... It would be good if we could do it again. Not the end of the world if we don't. It's just that in this game, males are more useful. Oh my god, it's sexist. Yeah, more useful as rulers, I should say. It's not like the women aren't useful. They, they are useful. In different ways. So we got a rebellion up here. Good, we've bloody whack them all them away. 
Alright, now I haven't dealt with this, so my stance on this might benefit from gain it and make it go to my sister. So if we have a look here, it says Crusader Kingdom recipients 10,000. Assuming that's me. Hey, someone gave me a finger of St. John. Nice. Now, if I recall, last time we actually white pieced out on the Jihad. It'd be good if we can actually... Let me see here. They won't accept at the moment. Come on, you pansy. Alright. That's hate speech. get over here and help out. The Crusade's almost over. And then once the Crusade's done, we can get the, uh, the Templar. Actually, we've got to get back over here. The, the Templar can come back. And, and the, uh, hospital is. They've got this under control. I mean, if we have a look here, we can see what our contribution is. I think. Our contribution is currently 3%, so not very much. But I have to protect my own realm first. Seems like this jihad has more or less run out of puff, although they're probably up here trying to, to do something about it. And it's quite possible this will actually give us some war score. Yeah, it, it is increasing our contribution, just not by a hell of a lot. Because it'd also be giving it to France because they got lots of soldiers here. Yeah, King Louis the sixth of France has gained the most. Good, they one of my vassals captured a region. That's definitely a good thing. Alright, now what I want to do... No, no. Keep going. I was thinking about declaring war on this, but I'll need to get my Templar back. Okay, so we'll accept the white piece now. Upon doing so, that would get a little bit of stuff, but you know, I'd like to enforce demands. Uh, France buggered off. That's okay, I mean, we got what we needed out of it for the time being. I mean, I could probably call them back in if I needed to. We just gotta keep playing whack a mole with them. I didn't really... How did I get like six grand last time? I didn't gain it this time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I gained something. Italian Crusader Falchon. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, let's have a look here. So, make a friend. Alright, let's make a friend out of the Byzantines. Alright, so now I'm left alone here, but we can... No, 
why Jerusalem is my home. Yes, that would be very helpful, thank you. Sure. Alright, since... Since we, we don't really have much going on here, let's pop this down. We're not at war with these guys, are we? Nope. Let's declare war and take that one region. Ooh, the council's not happy. Whoops. Oh well. Gives us something to do while they're trying to, you know, get reorganized and back over here. Looks like it'll only be there for two years. It's not that big of a deal. My wife died. And my wife, she is a dead. Half of. Okay, now I need another wife who's going to produce a male heir. Midas touched is good. one for us. Now once we've got a male heir, you need to stop fighting. For 16 years, you have to make sure your son is well tutored and no regency council. I think I can justify splitting the army up. You come over here. The other one. Ah, oh, shit. It took too long. Actually, if I could get... No, they won't help us in this siege because they're not at war with them as well. We'll just keep fighting. We've almost won the Jihad. As long as those motherfucking Seljuks don't come in. Like, bits and pieces of the Seljuks are coming in, but that's about it. But the whole thing? No, we're good. It's funny how you can try to retrace your steps in this, like, almost step for step, almost, and get completely different results. Like, this game does have, you know, it varies wildly between campaign to campaign. If we got some prisoners, can I please sell them off for some gold so that I can chuck it back into my merchant trade posts? You ready for assault? Yeah, should be fine. Let's just get this over and done with.
How can I request a crusade? Just a small gift will do. I'm not that rich just yet. It's gonna take some time. Not that long, but you know, some time. Alright, jihad over, I think. Unless I lose. Well, I wouldn't, wouldn't count on it, but there we go. I was considering another offer from us. Okay. Done. Okay, G had fails, and just at the same time, we get that. Thank you very much. Alright, so we just gained this region here. I think this should go over to Tripoli here. So this guy here is angry for not being on the council. Well, too fucking bad. Here, I'll make you happy by giving you... Arca. I could have held on to it myself, but it's no big deal. Wouldn't have given me that much anyway. And keeping that lord under control is probably a good thing. Alright, who are we going to smash next? So, we got these guys here. I uh, don't really have any major threat. If I look at this and declare war, and I go for Palmyra, no, nope. Aleppo. Uh, the council is in unanimous agreement, and this guy here is incapable. I, mean, I definitely want to go to the Fatimids again, but they're strong. And these guys here are weak, so let's hit this. Before the Seljuks bloody gobble them up. So, back up we go. Hang on. Near 14,000 men should be more than enough to beat these... The racial slurs. Just insert whatever racial slur you want, I don't care. I don't want to say it's... Just, just gotta, I gotta tread more carefully. Does that still count as being racist if I just say, insert racial slur? Yes, because... I don't know. Alright, let's just try to hit this wall quickly. We are taking a fair bit of attrition. We're a little way away from that, but yeah, let's see. Good, good start so far, really good start. I like this, like, really quick wars, just get in there, get it done. You know, you want to piss pussyfoot around for ages, just get the job done before they call in any fucking allies. Looks like a bit of border gauze coming in. Alright, we are done here. Thank you very much. Fucking easy. But that's the thing. Um, we want to have. Generally speaking, what you want to do in a Crusader Kings 2 game is. Bully the, the low hanging fruit. Take them first, because if you don't, somebody else is going to. Take the low hanging fruit while you don't have much threat, and then, you know, it's all good. Alright, so I have way too many domain. I think I can actually hold on to all of this for the time being if I just sort out these minor lords first. Church has, has plundered, but whatever.
Now I'm one over. Alright, how about... How about you have... I bet you have Homs. No. Yeah, you can have Homs. Not gonna get anything out of that for a while, but I'll just hold on to it. Uh, okay. Next up. We can hit these guys up for that entire province there, and that'll, that'll get rid of them as an independent realm. Have I still got levies? I do. Where though? Ah, it's too late now. Fenirfund. So Nif... Nifud. Nifud, not Nif. Okay, whatever. So there's five regions in this. They're not allied to anyone. This is probably going to give me a fair bit of threat. But yeah, if we don't do it, the Seljuks probably will. And it looks like they're a little bit busy, so we want to... Like I said, pound fast. Uh, the council's for it. My, my personal troops are quite in bad shape, though. Oh, come on. We gotta, we gotta not do that. I need money. Train my troops. I want you to be uh, spying in Constantinople. Please don't get caught, though. Improve diplomatic relations with Constantinople would also be good. I mean, that'll, that helps as well, but we don't have that much threat anyway. Got a bit of a uh, border go here with the birds. So yeah, political concerns. I don't know what that means. Whoa! Sh That's not good. back down. We can't let this happen. Stop, 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 stop. If they do this, I don't have enough men. What we need to do in this situation is sh do a show of force. It's not a show of force. It's not counting these guys here. Hang on. Grandmaster of the Knights Templar is there. That's the problem. If we send him a gift, he might just shut up. Come on. Go away. Go away. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get out of it. You're over 50. You should be getting out. Fuck, I'll award him an honorary title as well. Just get him out of there. I know the council's not happy, but it's only for a little bit long. Oh, God damn it. Power of the council in... No. Sorry, no. Fucking rebels. I'll show you who's boss. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of troops. They may need some mercenaries. 7,900. From what I can see, that's more than what they've got. You know, from what I can see. Good thing I didn't call it a different war. Alright, we've got to put more sycophants in here. Because I want other laws to be passed. Okay, there's... Yep, keep putting them in. Doesn't bother me too much if they're pissed off. We got four loyalists in there. I do love loyalists. All right. Before, I don't know where the the bloody Knights Templar are. They're our enemies. Wherever they are, oh, they're probably popping in from like. 
ages away or something. Gives us a chance to get started on this. Okay, so it's a good start, good start. This is an unfortunate internal issue, and you know, the council problem's gone away now, but I'm sure it's shit not giving them more power. Uh, no, not right now. I'm gonna need that money for other things. Council, obligations, no, 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 okay. I can't do anything while I'm in Civil War anyway. Never Civil War last time, but I've also expanded a lot faster than I did last time as well, taking Aleppo. I also took Sinai, Sinai, whatever. Anyway, this gives us a chance to just wait for the, that to go down. We also won the Jihad instead of White Peace. Unmarried heir, don't worry about that. So, what's going on with this? She hasn't borne me any children yet. She's 28, she should be able to bear children. And he's 55, he should still be able to as well. Come on, you gotta get on with it. Get a son, the sooner the better, or else we're gonna have a big, long regency council. They don't seem to have enough men to besiege anything, and I should be able to do two at a time. Everything seems good so far. So there's some Knights Templar. But where the hell are the rest of them? They're supposed to have like 7,000 men. No, 4,000 men. This isn't, this isn't enough. How about an alliance with him now? Form an alliance, and it still says political concerns. And that's, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know how we're supposed to get past that. It seems to me like this political concern stuff just disables you from being able to offer anything. Like, we can't, we can't seem to offer um, marriages. I don't know. More Knights Templar are coming in, still not very many though.
Ah, uh, look at that. That's, that's, uh, Templar over here. Interesting. I hope after this there'll still be essentially my my vassal. I hope so. Because I intend to show them mercy. Because they're a, a useful boon to me. It's just unfortunate that they revolted. Okay, got money again. Let's build these up. Okay, we got other things to do aside from fight each other. Just any internal issues. I gotta admit, I don't think we're getting a, another son. And if we do, it's gonna be too late. So she may end up just having to be queen. It's not bad. Um, I mean, it's, it's not good either, but you know, we deal with what we can. You know, I tried to get a son. What can I do? Vassalization. What's going on here? He's supposed to be my... Just ransom him or something. The hell? Okay, good. He's coming back in. Okay, so are you. Yep, because they're du jour. And okay, we can still we can still do this. Okay, we're we're good. We had, we didn't lose anything. All right. Bloody hell, that would have been annoying if we actually lost territory. Okay, now next thing. Everyone, get a jet out, uh, get out of jail card or whatever. And as for the Templar dude, how do I just release you? Let's have a look to the Fatimids. His money's really bad. Like, really fucking bad. But... If we have a look at our overall strength, we'd be hard-pressed to beat him. We have to catch him when he's at war with someone else. If we want to do that. Because if we add it up... Because he's going to get about 10,000 men through the Holy Orders that he can get. So that would mean he'd get about 17,000 men. Our total men would be... A, a little bit less than that. So, building up barracks in the meantime would help in the regions that we want to build up. And also taking on territory that would be easy to capture. And since it seems to take my doma domain troops longer to replenish, let's not bring them into this.
Because the other thing that we would need, and this is what I used in the second episode against the Fatimids, was an alliance with the Byzantine Empire, but we don't have that going for us at the moment. Because an alliance somehow... The thing is, they offered it. They offered it last time. Alright, so these guys are coming in to assist. And they cut off some of our troops. You bloody worms. Well, those of them that can make it, get in there. I want to make it fairly quick before the bloody Seljuks get involved. Once they're involved... Oh, once they're involved, it's going to be tough. They got involved. Ah, oh, why can't you just mind your own business? They don't have a defensive pact on me. So, yeah. What we need to do is win this war very quickly because... There's, there's no other way. Luckily, it's not not exactly going for a whole lot. In terms of, like, these regions are shit. This is desert crap. But we got to get this done before... I mean, the Seljuks are large. Like, getting their forces from all the way over here, down here, will take time. Okay, let's put another sycophant in there. Well, even if he's not competent, I need... I need shit to get done, so... Get that sorted for us, please. Everyone loves centralization. And that'll help me gain more money, more power, without having to rely on my vassals all the time. Ooh, you're my rival. What if I duel you? Duelers are not... Oh, alright, okay. Uh, can I put a special interest in you? And I'll see about getting you later. Okay, quickly get over here and then we'll roll back around this way. Again, before the Seljuks get here. We knew that was going to pass. So far, so good. Come on, we got to move quickly. These regions... Okay, we, we won. Even though the Seljuks were there, we won. Good stuff, and that ended them as an independent realm. Nice. And I didn't have to use my own personal troops. How about that? Ah, oh, these regions suck. It's tribal garbage. Ah, oh, shit. find some... I'll just give it to you. At the very least, those guys are now just gone. You know, don't have to worry about them anymore. And the threat is... It's up a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. It'll go away. Point is, we got rid of a Muslim power. Alright, now. If we were to hit you. Because we could defeat them pretty quickly. Now, last time, see, anytime we go to war with a Muslim war, these guys could pop up and cut us off. So, it might be good to clean them up. Even though it's just one region, it would be pretty easy to deal with. Council votes for it. I said we go for this one there. Alright, once again, don't call my own, own troops in. Yeah. 
And see, they get 1,600 men from here. Now, it's probably just because that guy, that's where his thief is. Whatever. Get in there quickly and end this. Before the Seldrics get involved. Okay, slow down a little bit. Not a hard target to hit here, so let's do that. See, like I said, they cut us off when we're trying to get in together. This is why we got to clean up the border gore. Don't worry about this. It's just, it's just bits and pieces. The main forces got together. Doesn't look like we'll get that sun that we wanted. Alright, spit it back up again. This should give us all the war score we need now to win the war. Good. Good, that's but punishment for annoying us those other times. Okay. So we gained another thief. I think I can hold on to that for the time being. Yep, I'll hold on to it. Now then. Looking at them, he's still badly in debt. He's a Shia Muslim, so we don't have to worry about the Seljuks getting involved because they won't care. We only, yeah, that did not gain as much threat. Looking at this, we have 8,000 men plus... Eight thousand men plus about another eight thousand. So it'd be pretty even. We have to keep in mind though it's on very high difficulty. We've still got quite a lot of ground to cover. For offer to join war against Holy War for Edessa. Okay, so we can go after this guy again because he's. It's not the same king that we were up against last time. So we can do it, but that doesn't mean we should. Could also go up against this. That'll take longer to get there, though. Not necessarily a bad thing. Gotta watch out, or else we get too much. Too much threat. Let's just chill for a bit. Really want to get to Cairo. That Ky Cairo's got the trade post there. And we can, if we have a look here, trade makes us a decent amount of money. We can have four trade posts. Hopefully the Seljuks are more interested in India for the time being. Le leave us to conduct our business here in peace. Let's sell off the prisoners, make a little bit of gold and ransom. Still haven't made a friend. Alright, let's cancel that. Uh, let's try it again. Whatever. Conflicting interests. I don't know. Mm, don't worry about that too much right now.
Okay, so he's... He's defending against... Elodia. Okay. Maybe he can't call upon his, his main force because he has no money. Does he have any piety? Does he have any piety? Well, he's at war with someone else. We can attack him on two fronts. We've got to go for Cairo first this time, not Sinai. Because I want that trade route. Okay, this time we hire everything that we've got. I want Cairo. But we start from up here. I mean, we can just make our way down in terms of war score. We also want to do this reasonably quickly. So if we look at it, he's only got 8,000 men. It's not that much. We should have about twice as many men as that. And if he's busy down here, great. This will create border gore, but I need that trade post. Alright, it's probably best... We split our forces up a little bit, since they're not even here yet anyway. Before we start taking attrition. Okay, it might be in her best interest now to get married before she's out of childbirth age, and then we're fucked if that happens. Alright, so we need... Yeah, it needs to be matrilineal, of course. Doesn't matter if he's a bastard. The line must continue one way or another. Because if we don't, it's game over. No matter how much land we've conquered, if we don't have any male, don't have don't have any members of the dynasty, that's it. It's done. See, the thing is about men; they can have children regardless of their age, but women. Once they hit like 45, I think that's it. They, they can't have children anymore. So if your last living player is a female that's aged 45, it's kind of game over. Now we've still got her sister over here as well. And he's just, he's just going ham on executions over here. What happened to Elodia? You know, I wouldn't even mind if he did win that. Anyway, it's given us a good head start, if nothing else. He wants to make a friend. I want to make a friend. Why do we fucking be friends? Damn, man. I'm really surprised she hasn't produced it. Oh, she already has a son of her own. 
She's not infertile or anything, so I don't know what's going on there. If I send her a gift and award her the honorary title of regent, maybe she might be more inclined to open them legs. Okay, we don't need that either. Send him home, maybe he'll... Oh, uh, hang on, here's an idea. Why don't we switch our focus to family? Even though he's old, I mean, it's it sucks, but we need we need more males in the dynasty. So we'll just see if this can get us something. Because if he has an heir, if he has a child right now, he has to wait until he's in his seventies before dying, but or else regency can't be helped. No, you know what? No. If you're not gonna ally with me, what's the point of this marriage? I just thought this just hold it for the time being. Says we got some occupation somewhere, but I don't see why. Shit, this is a problem with gavel kind. Look at all of those territories, it'll be lost. Damascus goes with it as well. We've got to get a male heir. If we have a male, none of them are entitled to anything. It's fucking gavel kind, man. Good, she's in love with him. Start producing fucking children then, you bloody old woman. Fine, whatever, let's do it. All oh, right, we've actually occupied some of these territories. It just didn't look like it. I right, guess doesn't really matter that much. All right, he's just at war with us now, and he's almost gotten himself out of debt. We may need to move it soon. Okay, we've finished over there. Just didn't look like it. Okay. from them. A Chinese artifact, because let's see, we got a tapestry of Uk, whatever the hell that is. Build cost minus 2%. <laughs> not really, not really great, but what are you going to do? Alright. We have to stop the inheritance here. So, here's what I'm thinking. If we make... If we make it illegal for this to, to go outside the realm, then the women who have been passed off shouldn't be able to get anything. Right?
which might pass already. Good. Regulated inheritance laws. Okay, so... When we look at it now, we want her to get all titles. So, her, for example... Let's look. Who's going to get them all? So, it says here... Queen Mother... Alice of Antioch. Ah, oh, it's my daughter here. She can't get that though. We've we've got controlled inheritance. about that stuff. Come on, male heir, male heir. Fucking gavel kind, man. It's the fucking worst. We can do that again. We might be able to do it. Because if we do that, we can go with primogeniture. If we can get that. What did I just inherit here? Barony. Yeah, okay, don't worry about that. And since I've put in, more or less, you know, half of them sycophants, I mean, we could, we could always just switch one of the other guys out if we absolutely need to. We'll get late, late in there so that we can change the inheritance law to senior, uh, to primogeniture after this war here is over. And, uh, well, we still got a few years to wait. Oh, we're not doing anything. Fuck me. I, yeah, it's because it's not... Oh, shit. Not locked. Oh, we're locked in now. You, you needed to fight this. Should be able to beat them. Just got to make sure, that's all. Oh, look, why don't you just stay there? He should be able to handle it. Yeah, he's got it. Took a, took a bit of a wound, nothing major though. But we did give him a good whooping. Okay, and that, that victory there was enough to almost get us there. We just need to capture probably one region in Cairo. So maybe you come over here as well. Once we capture that, that should tip us over the edge. Could be costly in manpower, though. Go back home and, you know... <laughs> I'm sure your wife will bed you with that. Alright, with 18,000 men, let's get this over with, hey? Okay, just one more day. And I get Cairo. Very nice. Oh my god, no wonder. I'm looking at it from the dynasty tree instead of from that. That's no, no wonder I couldn't find it. Alright, so we're having Cairo so that I can turn it into a trade port, post, whatever. And these other two regions here will be handed over to, I don't really care who. Oh, look, 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 we've actually got someone here who might make a worthy heir. Okay, so the, he might one day be king. All right, we'll put it in his name, you know, these two for the time being. Of... Uh, 
What's it called? Sorry, Quayo or something. I never heard it before, so. Don't expect me to be able to pronounce everything. Fire him as the other one. Right. And there's still another one we gotta get rid of. Maybe Acre. So I'll just hand it over to you. Okay, we need another sycophant here, because I just lost one. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, good, there's one. Oh, whoops. The hell? Why isn't that doing anything? I guess he doesn't want the position. Because he's... He's shit at the job. Okay, cool. But it's not about that right now. This is about getting laws passed that are going to keep the realm intact. Couldn't even make a single fucking friend either. it an hour and a half. We did a, did a lot in this episode, but things have gone better and worse at the same time. In that we don't have a male heir, that's bad. We didn't get a whole lot of money. We do we do have a lot, but I don't have the opportunity for the, the to to found a, a bloodline. He could die at any moment now, and all, all of his fiefs will get scattered. That's not good. It's gonna take me some time to get all that shit back. It would definitely be good if he could live just long enough for me to establish primogeniture, which should work as long as we can change the realm to late administration in three years, two and a half years, whatever. All right, have we got some prisoners. Oh, hey, we got found another guy over here who could one day. Oh, shit, he needs to get himself married. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea to pick another fight right now. But yeah, with three trade posts, that's that's really good. Gotta wonder at what point can we ask for the uh, the, blood, the the special bloodline stuff? Does he have to be of a certain age or what? All right, speed this up a little bit. That's good.
All right, look, we got four here. That's good. We just need to get to nine uh, to 1138. I need to make sure that as many of them are going to pass this law as possible. It's imperative that this law gets passed. Gavelkind is poison. We need to get rid of it. And is that in revolt? Now he's not in revolt, but he's, he's separated from the other one, it seems. Wait, is he? No, he's not in revolt. This will help clean up our border gore. The council approves. Like I normally give a shit. Mm, I don't have anyone else in there. I suppose someone pragmatic I have to do. I don't see any need to bring in my personal troops. Let's just get in there and get the job done quickly. So these guys here are going to fight and lose to begin with, but as soon as the, the knights get there, they'll sort them out. Just keep them pinned down. If I change the laws to Agnatic, that means only a male can heir, and that means my grandson would inherit. But what if my heir was instead this guy here, and that way I inherit both kingdoms? Eh, don't worry about it right now. Things to consider. I'm gonna give that to you. There we go. Cleaned up a little bit of the border gore. She's pregnant now? Fucking hell. He's... I mean, he might live to 70. He might. I've certainly seen people live older than that. Usually I have lots of Chinese artifacts that increase health. Could be another daughter. Okay, we got a bunch of... No, I'll let them be. I don't want to get too much more threat. So we've gone to a lot of effort here to try to get this alliance, and it just, it just isn't working. I just don't know what this political concerns bullshit is. More grandsons. Well, let's just see if we get a son. Fingers crossed, eh? You fighting? Antioch. Okay. Mm, 
I don't want glory hounds. This should still pass like this, because I get to vote as well. If... No, the region doesn't count right now. I guess we could clean this up. I mean, our threats... What's this? Yeah, there's a defensive pact on our ass. Let's just wait. Good. Good, you're good. And we'll name him the same thing as we did last time. His name shall be Deus Vault. God will he exist. And thank fuck for that. Now, don't have any more children. So... Shall the Pope baptize him? I mean, that's a lot of money. Ah, yeah, whatever. He's gonna be king. Yep, his sister should do it. And make sure that we're his guardian. And may he grow up to be a brutal fucking conqueror. As far as kings are concerned, he's really not that bad at all. Yes, yes, you want you to be celibate? I don't want you to have any more children, that's enough. That actually was really convenient. You know, at least while Gavelkind is here. Once we got primogeniture, I mean, we won't be able to hold as much uh, domain, but it really doesn't matter. Good, got four of this. Just one more year, and we can change the laws. And that way, if it's primogeniture, I don't mind if it's if it's agnatic at all. I probably wouldn't mind if it is absolute cognatic, which means male or female, whoever's the eldest. Eh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Males are better to have. You know, as rulers in this. God damn it! Just, I, I gotta like trip over my own bloody words with this because it's the political correctness of things. You say, ah, oh, you know, you, you gotta have a man. You gotta have a man in charge. It's just like you heard it here, folks. Alleged is sexist. It's like in the game, okay? In the game, okay? Men, you gotta keep your dynasty alive. Okay, it's harder as a woman. You cure my child. Uh, go away. Barony here. I'm mainly just waiting until. Until, was it March? Who is she? Oh, okay, whatever. Okay. Maybe we can get this friendship shit going on. Died of depression. Okay, let's, let's be. I'm just gonna throw everything I can at this to try to get a friendship out of him.
to stay alive. That's all you gotta do. Looks like these guys got a bit hammered by the uh, the Seljuks. If I was to declare war on you for Bahrain, that's one, two, three, four regions we can get out of it. I reckon it would have been a fifth there, I think. Let me just check. Yeah. Missed our chance for that. It's, it's not really important territory, though. Alright, good. Yeah, I need military organization. That shit's important. Especially out here where there's lots of deserts. Alright, it's time. So, switch to this. Council consideration. Tick, tick. Yep, all the loyalists, sycophants, go for it. Man, it did not take long for me to figure out exactly how to get to what I wanted done on this. I heard a lot of people say, oh, it's, it's so hard, it fucks you around so much. It hasn't been that big of a problem for me. Maybe, maybe it will later on, I don't know. Good, if we have a look at our income, we are making a decent amount of money from trade. And considering it doesn't take up a a domain slot, there we go. And now, for the final kicker, primogeniture, like it should be. Good stuff. Your line is secure. Now we can have as many male sons as we want. Male sons. We can have as many male heirs, I guess, as we want. Without having to worry about, you know, all the titles going everywhere. Right, but the downside is, of course, we, we do can't have as much domain. Let me have a look here to see if we can... Still can't do it. I, I don't know how to, like, force someone to become a friend. <laughs> force them to be a friend. But, you know, I've been trying to deal with this guy. I don't know, I'll just look within my own realm. If I look to him and I go, like, hey, how do we be a friend? I don't know. I never bothered with friends prior to this. Uh, okay, we gotta get rid of one of our fiefs. Uh, which one should it be? Alright, we'll get rid of that one. It's not important. Give it to him. Still a lot of laws I need passed. What happened there? This thing's just changed. Okay, the threat's going away, which is good. Might also be a good idea to build a hospital now. We've, we've got some money. I guess that's all right. All right, where are we going next? Uh, let's see. This place here is still falling to pieces. It's gonna be a while before we can go toe to toe with the Seljuks, unless they, unless we catch them like in a revolt. I probably want to take this territory here off them first.
So we're trying to get that alliance with him. So when we look at this, we can see we got three, yeah, three to four points. Ports, uh, trade, whatever. Okay, looks like he's taking that on in by himself, but that's, that's fine, saves me the effort. Alright, we're past an hour and a half, so we'll end the episode here. Okay, so we're... F we got a little bit further than we did last time in, within an hour and a half. But, you know, it still sucks that we have to start again. Anyway, uh, so like and subscribe part... I guess it's three is next, really, because I'm... I'm not going to call this one part one again. Um, so part three is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.